What's up today my fellow Madden soldiers? So what we're going to be doing right now is updating the Dallas Cowboy theme team. What I'm going to do is basically move chemistries around. I might get another player and add them to the lineup. We'll see how everything goes right now. But the main focus of this video right now is to change abilities around. Meaning that Demarcus Lawrence will go to him right now. He has edge threat on him. He's doing an amazing job. I'm about to release a video out um, hopefully soon. when it, I have basically highlights of him and how effective he is at when he has the edge thread on him like that edge thread is very effective like it's been very useful for me but the thing is is that ed to tall jones get this gets it too i can add it on both of them but i feel it's better just to have it on one of them and put another ability on one of the other players on the defense because when you have both of them on there it, 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 it they work like i said but it's not as 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 effective as you think it is you think an assistant i had it at an instant um, impact like rushing rushing wise and it, it it really don't like i said i had it on one of i had it on the players one of them will rush in the other one will stay behind so it was just like basically a wasted of ability that i could add to someone else so anyways the thing about ed two tall jones i'm gonna go ahead and take it off to marcus lawrence and get all my training back for it so the thing about demarcus lawrence is uh it works like i said it works but he don't have enforcer and at two tall jones have enforcer on him so i what i'm thinking is if i go ahead and put on at two tall jones and add enforcer that when he does sack the quarterback it will be much more effective in creating fumbles and so forth so and not just that even stopping the run and other things like it just it, i think it will add a whole another dynamic to this team and i'm looking forward to seeing how it works so i've been thinking about it lately and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, add it on him like just change the chemistries around so we gotta get our refund all right i know you guys thinking like why well, you have a lot of training up there you didn't have to do that i know but i'm saving it for something else and why not am i going to use the mark use on the marcus lawrence right now so i'm going to take it off my add it on to at two tall jones when it comes to which one do we want reinforcement higher chance to fear monger chance of pressure to keep you wall engage your blocker block shedding momentum shift i'm gonna go ahead and just i don't know if i get that or fear monger Blockchain is more effective. We'll go ahead and get run stuffer. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. And then we're gonna get let's look at it over here. He gets enforcer. We're gonna go ahead and get an enforcer. That is insane. I didn't even know that. I like I barely discovered it. So you get strip specialist, run stopper. So we're not we're not gonna get none of these. He gets them. He even gets lumberjack. But wanna see what I want to see what his other abilities get on the second one. He gets Tackle Supreme. Ah, and there's no reason to get Tackle Supreme if you got Enforcer out of my way. Don't need to get that. Goal line stuff. Unfakeable. People are saying not to get it now, but I don't I don't know. I don't even know if that made even a big difference. Let me see what the other one gets before I even make any moves. Alright. Unfakeable. Same same thing, huh? Secure tackler, goal line stuff. Quicker block shares near the goal line. Under pressure. I don't know if I want to get that. Let me see. So we'll go ahead and get Reach Leap. We'll see how that works. And then we're here. I don't know if I want to get under pressure or not. I yeah, will get unfakeable. People are saying not to get it, but I'm going to get it either way. And we'll, we'll just see how it works from there. But yeah. You guys already know his, his stats. If you, if you guys want to see it again, we'll go ahead and I'll show them to you guys. Just because, you know, so some people may not have seen it. Other probably, other people probably have them or other people haven't tuned into the other videos I had. So he's 80 speed because I got Sprinter as well as an uh, extra speed from the Cowboy Chemistry. So he got 80, 94 strength, 93 tackle, 91 play rec, 86 acceleration, 93 block shed, 90, 91 power move, 85 finesse move. This card is glitchy. Now I'll see his hitch power apparently because that's what we're here for. So his other stuff is right there. So it's nothing crazy. Jumping is 87, which is good, and especially with his height. So his block shedding, we've already seen that. Play wreck is 91, which is great. Zone is 66, which is pretty good for a DN. Hit power with their 88. Wow. He only got 88 hit power, and he already gets a uh, enforcer. That's pretty amazing. That's I I'm liking that. So I, I really want to see how that works on the on this squad right here. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. All right, there it is there. We'll go ahead and pick up a... I want to I wanna get Michael Bennett, add him to the squad because he's he's out there. He'd he be out there playing in the field. 
depending on what certain defenses I get, that's the cheapest I've seen them for. Perfect timing. And just add them to the squad. All right. Yeah, it's card. Him and, him and uh, Ro uh, Robert Quinn be, be doing their thing out there. What's this? Oh, Sprinter? What? Yeah, of course. We're going to put Sprinter on him. I think I didn't put Sprinter that last time because I didn't have I didn't have the training, but I got now, now I got sixteen thousand training. I'm cool with it, but I'm gonna save it to see what's going on with these uh other events that's taking place in Madison. So we'll go ahead and save. What's this? Oh, the, I'm not gonna add none of this stuff because there's no need to. I already have three people with abilities. I have Jalen Smith got his abilities. I wish he had Enforcer. He don't got it. The only one that got some Enforcer right now on the Cowboy squad is that Two Tall Jones. Deion Sanders has my other ability. But once there's another player, once Jalen Smith gets Enforcer or Lincoln, either one of these guys gets Enforcer, I'm going to go ahead and add it to him. So as soon as it happens, it could even be Sean Lee, it doesn't matter. Someone who gets it, I'm going to go ahead and add it to him. But this is a squad. I don't see there's any. Well, there's another upgrade. There's two upgrades. Oh, before we leave, I want to do. There's one more other great upgrade I got to do. I'm not going to buy his full player, but I'm going to go ahead and add the train. I know that's a lot. Okay, so. Look how much this card is going for. 469, not too bad. But like I said, we'll see what's going on with. I don't want to buy the card real quick and I miss out on another opportunity to buy another player. So we're gonna be patient right now. But he's up to a 92. I'm happy with that. That's that, that's that's pretty cool. Hopefully these other these other players should be getting upgrades. So once they do, we'll go ahead and uh upgrade them. But this is it, Prescott. Then we got Troy. Troy Aikman. I don't know if he's going to be an NFL 100 player, but if he does, we're definitely going to be getting him, upgrading him because I like his card. But anyways, this is this is a squad right here. Um, hopefully, we get some other uh, some some new upgrades when it comes to these new events coming up, zero chill and so forth. So we'll see what happens. If if you guys see this video after the zero chill came out, then you, apparently you know you know this is a later video. So. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys need to sub, sub to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.